Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are well wherever you are. It is a beautiful morning here today. A lot going on today. We're gonna be ripping and running today, running a bunch of errands. We're gonna be hitting up some outlets, hopefully going to the farmer's market. The girls wanna go to the pool. It's just a whole lot going on. You guys are gonna be a part of it. You're coming with, you're gonna be hanging out with us today. It is early in the morning. I just got our sourdough into the oven. And now I'm outside, of course. You can always find me in the garden, especially in the morning when the temps are cool. So much wildlife is just out here. The birds are chirping, the hummingbirds are coming to the feeders. As you guys can tell, this is my happy place. So I'm out here to do my morning little stroll through the garden. And then I'm going to get the girls together. I've already gotten them dressed. I just need to do their hair and I'm going to make them some breakfast. I am still intermittent fasting. So I'm not going to have anything to eat. But I am going to do my lemon water. And I'm also going to probably pack me like a protein shake or something to have while we are out. Because I don't want to get hungry while we are out. And then be tempted to eat something that I shouldn't be eating. So it's always important to set yourself up for success. That is a fact. So I'm going to be doing that. Probably be packing some stuff up in the cooler for us to have while we are out. Babe actually ran to get a haircut and he's going to be coming to pick us up. And I'm supposed to be ready to walk out the door when he gets back. And I'm out in the garden, of course. So we got a lot going on today. You guys are going to be a part of it. We're hanging out. I'm excited to hang out with you guys today. So let me get through this garden walk so I can finish doing all the other preparation I need to do before he gets back. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. You can hear them. The birds are at the feeder this morning. Ooh. I spot a red strawberry. Um, so I'm checking my berries to see if we have anything to pick. It's so peaceful out here. My zinnias are getting ready to start to open. morning medicine and that is what the garden truly is for me it is so therapeutic so I got my morning medicine now it is time for me to cook some breakfast the girls have requested an egg sandwich so they like a fried egg with avocado on toast so that is what I'm gonna whip up along with some berries and I did manage to get two little strawberries from the garden today. The girls will, will happily eat these. So I'm going to get them washed up and they will eat them along with their, with their breakfast. So 
So the sourdough is getting ready to come out the oven. And I'm also gonna be making sourdough pizza today because usually when I do bake sourdough bread, I have some discard and I don't like wasting it. So I typically will make the sourdough pizza and my girls love it. So I'm just now, I forgot. I forgot to do this yesterday, but I'm pulling out some tomatoes right now. These are tomatoes that I grew last year. There goes the sourdough. Let me get it out. Before I was rudely interrupted. But what I was saying, so here's the sourdough. It's looking lovely. It didn't rise as much as it usually does, but it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna let that cool. We're gonna let that sit over there for a while and just cool off. And what I was saying was, these are tomatoes that I grew last year. And this is how I make my sauce. So I typically will pull these out the day before so that they can thaw out in the fridge overnight. Obviously, I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna have to do that today. So I'm about to pull them out. And once they thaw out, I will just pull off the skins and put them into my Vitamix with olive oil, some basil, salt and pepper, and some garlic cloves. And that is my pasta sauce. So I make the dough from scratch and the sauce from scratch and the toppings, like the cheese and everything, I do purchase at the store. But for the most part, very clean ingredients and homemade, homegrown. Let me go ahead and pull out my tomatoes so they can thaw out and be ready for later on this evening when we return. So these are the Roma tomatoes. They are paste tomatoes. So they are like optimal tomatoes for making sauce. And some of these were smaller. So I know about seven or eight usually makes enough sauce for the four pizzas. So yeah, that is what they are looking like. This is the berries they're gonna have. They're gonna have some blueberries, strawberries, and some raspberries. And this is my favorite way to store my berries. They last so much longer. Breakfast is served for my girls, and they're already down here saying that they are starving. So here, my dear. So the princesses are here. They're eating. They're dressed, but their hair is not done. I'm getting ready to do their hair shortly. But they are hungry. But also, what I do for my girls is Ava gets these. I'm not a fan of gummy vitamins for kids because they are loaded, loaded with sugar. However, I have done a lot of research and this is as close as I'm gonna get to no sugar in vitamins. So these are zero sugar kids multi gummies. They are essential vitamins and minerals for kids. This is the orange lemon flavor. So I don't know. If you guys know of a vitamin down below that doesn't have any sugar with clean ingredients, please let me know. But this is the closest thing that I have come up with for right now. So the girls get those every day. And then they also get this ultimate, oh well, Tatiana gets this because she's six and up. This is the Ultimate Omega Junior. This is the Omega 3s to support brain health, mood, and learning. So she gets this one. Ava's not old enough for that one. So she gets this one, which is a little fishy, and this one doesn't have any sugar either. This one is just fish oils and paprika, citric acid. This does have a trace amount of canola oil, so I'm not really a fan of that. I'm gonna try to find something else. I don't really want anything with any hydronated oils, and canola oil, unfortunately, is in that mix. But it said a trace, so I'm thinking it's a very small amount. But until I find something else, Ava's been getting this one. So I'm about to go ahead and give them their dose of their vitamins with their breakfast. So this is how her little fishy comes. And I just pop it out. This is the one that is the omega-3s. Omega-3s are very important for our brain. So this is Ava's little fish. And then this is Tatiana's omegas, which is a chewable capsule. It's a little and, pill. But you can just swallow it with water, but it's not. Yeah, you can definitely. I can't really try to. You can definitely swallow it. And then these are the multivitamin. I get four and two fish. I like my multivitamin. It's coming 
silly goose. So, my tooth is loose. So these are Tatiana's. Oh. Is that poor posture? That looks like poor posture. Please sit right. And look, your plate is too far, and that is why all this avocado fell. I have those two. You see? Ooh, that tooth is about to come out. And my sit, teeth, eat closer. And my teeth are about to come out. They are? Uh, when I get older. I usually, when you get older? Yeah, I usually eat this one first because it gets it out the way. You usually eat that one first? <laughs> Alright, and these are Ava's. Ava's, here's your little fishy. Uh-oh. Mm. You're dropping. I usually eat something with it because it's Good job. Let me see you eat your fishies. Mommy, that says vegan. Yep, vegans usually eat this that. This one's called Goldie. Because that doesn't come from animals. This one's called Goldie. Okay, eat Goldie. Goldie from the Goldie and the Bears? So now that the girls are situated and eating, I'm gonna clean up everything, make me a glass of tea, prepare my smoothie for the go, and then I need to do their hair so we can jet out of the door. So I will most likely check back in with you guys in a bit when I have everything cleaned up. I made me and babe a protein shake. Just gonna put these in the cooler. And I have a little tray that we got from Korea. And I'm gonna pack the girls some snacks to have while we're out. And then this should be able to hold us over till we get back. Babe is on his way, so I need to hurry up and get things together. I still haven't done the girls' hair, but he's already en route. But I just wanted to show you guys it's all about setting yourself up for success. Don't make excuses. If you know you're gonna be out running errands, pack yourself a bag. So, I know I have something to hold me over if I get hungry. I won't be tempted to stop at Chick-fil-A. Cause that, yeah, temptation is there always. But when you set yourself up for success, you are bound to succeed. So let me get packing. I gotta get the girls their snack. And I still need to do their hair. And babe is already on the way. So let me get to it. This is our little snack tray for the girls. Got some mini cucumbers, kiwi, cantaloupe, grapes, more little cucumbers, plantain chips, some of those chomps, protein, grass fed beef, and some veggie straws. So the girls are gonna have their water cups, but I think I might also pack a coconut water. So they are gonna have their water cups, but I also might pack a coconut water just in case. So we have some coconut water and that is it. And this is how much toys you wanna bring to the pool if you had a kid. Oh, okay. That's how much toys to pack for the pool.
So babe has picked us up. We're out in the streets. We're running errands, bending corners. We just stopped at vitamin shop to return some vitamins. It had an ingredient that we just kind of looked over. So we no longer wanted those. We just returned those and now we're headed to the outlet. So I will see you guys when we get there. Hey pretty girl, let me see you floss. That's how you floss. <laughs> we made it to the outlet. We made it, we have arrived. Let's see what goodies we can find. For vacation. For vacation. and haven't been able to really find anything. But we're currently in the gap right now. I'm trying on a couple of things. So I think I'm gonna get this stuff. So this is what I was able to find. We went to several stores. I was looking for mostly tops, but didn't have that much luck. I did grab a couple of pieces, but not a whole lot. We're gonna tailgate, have our snack, and then we're gonna stop at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. All right, for now. All right, we got, ooh, it's nice and cold. We got the snacky snacks. I can't have this kind. I got some forks. I can't have this kind. No, you can't have this kind. Hold on, Aunt, use your forks because y'all been out. Hey, Wait, let me get hand sanitizer. Yummy snack, eh? Mm -hmm. Mommy, it's So I made it to the farmer's market. I'm trying to figure out how to get in here. farmer's market it was a day we kind of came too late I think because we wanted ribs and they were already sold out everybody is grilling but one more last stop and we're gonna just hit up Trader Joe's to get some things to throw on the grill and then they're gonna jump in the pool next stop is Trader Joe's and then home you ready for the pool sweet girl yes. what you gonna do at the pool jackknife no. Go scuba. scuba diving what are you gonna do, that, that cannonball? Jump in, just jump in, okay. Hey, now I do a cannonball. Oh, you do a cannonball, sweet girl? I'm gonna be scared. So we made it to Trader Joe's. I'm sitting in the car with the girls. Babe went inside to go and get what we need for the grill. And I see a dragonfly. Oh, I saw a dragonfly too. The girls have been patient. They are patiently waiting, but they cannot wait to get to this pool. So I'm thinking they might go to the pool with dad while I work on getting the pizza together and then I might meet them there. The girls are ready for the pool. See, baby seals, mommy seals. All right, hold up. What about I, this I bag? What about this bag? So the fam actually took off to go swimming. I stood behind because I'm gonna put together the pizzas. So I'm gonna try ahead and get them put together very quickly so I can run over to the pool because I wanna catch the girls swimming because this is the first time of the season and I just wanna see them swim. So I'm gonna try to put these pizzas together very quickly and I might deliver one to them over there. And then we're gonna come back and just kick it on the patio, throw some things on the grill and just chill in the backyard. But let me hurry up and get these pizzas together so I can see my girls swimming. <laughs>
before I can make it over there. Didn't get the pizzas done quick enough because I was messing around in the kitchen, trying to get stuff prepped, mom duties. So I did miss their first swim. Did y'all have fun at the pool? Uh -huh. yes. Oh, baby, your pizza. The yes? Okay, but did y'all have fun? Yeah. I'm sad I missed y'all's first swim. Yeah. We're about to have a pizza party. Yeah, it's good. It's good? I'm about to go and clean out this bird feeder. It needs to be cleaned so that I can refill it. So that's what I'm about to work on. Getting this cleaned. Beautiful echinacea. And another one coming soon. and clean for my backyard friends if you want birds to come to your yard fresh water is a must they come here every day and drink water and take baths so I like to keep it clean for them Which one should I put? Um, the two eight. But yeah. this one. But now we'll put the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I have a skip. Uh, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now it's my turn. Uh huh. Skip puppy again. Ooh. The girls are being silly. Silly girls. of chamomile for tea. Or some blackberries. We picked some five today. 
fresh from the garden. Yeah, and they were. And a good. basket of chamomile for tea. Don't eat them yet. All right, let's go rinse them off. Tea time. It's tea time. Lots of chamomile, so I'll be dehydrating this for tea. The grill is started. What's going on on the grill? Baby's grilling, but I'm just watching it for a second. Ooh, and it's smoking hot. What y'all think? These hot dogs look good? Should I take them off? I ain't trying to burn nothing now. I think they might need to come off. So I'm about to fill up the bird feeder since it's all dried and clean now. I have my big old bag of bird food here. So I'm gonna fill up the bird feeder now. And then I'm gonna go shower and we're gonna go to Target drive up. Tomorrow Tatiana is attending a birthday party and we have purchased a gift online. We're gonna pull up the Target, pick it up, but we're all gonna get showered before we go. And then we're probably just gonna do a night ride and come back home. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. Meet me down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. What are you doing, Missy? You eating a blackberry? It's yummy? Let me see your blackberry. My sweet. It's sweet? Ooh, her blackberry was sweet. I'll see you later, guys.